if the barometric pressure is falling, then the conditions are going to be poor. If the barometric pressure is rising, oh my gosh, this is going to be a scientific one. Hello. <laughs> my name is Jillian, and this is Jillian Camps, Arizona. And today I bought a barometric pressure for fishing. We're going to do a little unboxing of this, not a sponsor. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but you know, barometric pressure is just one of the weather factors that you can utilize while you're out hiking and fishing, apparently, uh, in order to see if the weather's gonna change, right? It's just one factor, but it, it's very helpful, especially if you don't have any cell signal, right? Or if you don't have any signal in order to check the weather, you know what I mean? So this will be able to tell you uh, the barometric pressure reading at any time and you can see if the barometric pressure is rising or falling and act accordingly right i'm not going to go into too many scientific details because today i just want to do the unboxing but the main thing is that if the barometric pressure is starting to go down uh pretty heavily then that means the weather's going to turn bad you know or if it goes shooting up you know then it's the weather's changing in other words right you want it to stay the same and then that way you know that the weather's going to stay the same right it's going to be the same um, anyways, so that's just kind of how it works. And I've heard too, like if the barometric pressure rises just a little tiny bit, then, you know, just gradually, then it means that the weather's going to improve. Right. And that's what this fishing barometer does. You know what I mean? Because the barometric pressure affects fishing. Typically, if it starts going down really badly, then it comes into these little poor states on the side here. So let's do an unboxing of this. I'm going to see if this is going to work. I'm going to take this with me to the Grand Canyon. Okay. I don't have any signal in there. And that means you may as well flip a coin. If it, is it going to rain today? Is it not going to rain today? Let's flip a coin. 50, 50 chance, you know, every day. And let's find out. So anyways, let's do a quick unboxing of this. It's like some type of clamshell thing. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> anyways, this says, oh, this is the track. It's just some cheap fishing barometer. You know, it's just like, uh, I wanted one that, that was durable <laughs> that I could clip to the outside of my pack. So this one has a little tiny rope and look how cute it is. It's got fishing barometer and it's got all the numbers on the outside. You have to sync the barometric pressure gauge at first to an airport. So you have to use like a little screwdriver on the back or something in order to change it for the first time because it doesn't know. And then it knows if it's rising or falling, the needle will change. You know what I mean? And then you can see like, where is it at? And you can set it for like a permanent spot and then know if it's rising or falling and it'll rise or fall above that line. You know what I mean? So, uh, the fishing barometer, I figured this would be great for hiking too. You know, it's like, Hey, this is great. This light blue, this is good. This blue. And then this is poor on these sides. Right. And I figure that I could, uh, use this for weather as well. You know, if it starts to rise too heavily, then it's going to be poor conditions. And if it starts to fall, also poor conditions for hiking, right? There could be potential for flash flooding, etc. So I thought this would be really good indicator. And then it just says, you know, how does barometric pressure affect the fish? Fishing is normally best during rising barometric pressure and for the first hour of falling pressure. Sudden changes in barometric pressure usually triggers fish feeding, feeding or, you know, bad hiking conditions. Hello? Fishing is normally poor during low or constant barometric pressure. So it just says before using your track fishing barometer, you have to calibrate it to your local barometric pressure. If you have internet access, you can find your local barometric pressure at www.weather.gov or contact your local weather source. The gold hand is used to track pressure changes. Set the gold hand to match the red hand. Later, you can see if the pressure is rising, falling, or remaining constant. See? It's easy. It's just one way, right? Don't rely on just one source. You know, look at, look with your eyes, look up at the sky, see if the weather's starting to change. Do you see gray clouds? You know, it's possible you might get some rain, etc. But this is just another indicator of uh, potential issues with the weather. And it's just something that I thought I could get uh, instead of buying like one of those really expensive, like GPS units that has the weather as well, you know what I mean? For digital weather. So anyways, that's it. That's all this video is. I wanted to do an unboxing and explain barometric pressure. 
Thank you so much for joining me on this Jillian Camps Arizona video. Feel free to thumbs up this content if you liked it and you want to see more like it. Also, if you're not currently following me and you want to follow me around, feel free to hit that subscribe button below or you can like my page on Facebook or on Instagram. That's at Jillian Camps Arizona. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.